Hi guys, today I'm joined by my friend Alina from Depressed Russian. Yes, and by the name of Alina's channel, you can know that we are really happy here. We came to Vladivostok as tourists. Now we are walking in the place called Chinese Quarter. Kids are playing here. Funny. So Alina and I are going to explore this place. What you want to say? This is my third video about summer in Vladivostok. The first one I made two years ago. That was quite sad and depressing. The second one I filmed here last year. It was nice and the city left better impressions. This year my time in Vladivostok was neither nice nor depressing. It was just okay and weird given the current state of affairs. But I was glad to share this experience with my friend and now we invite you to explore the city with us. Honestly, we came to Vladivostok almost without any plan. This is what happens when you don't know what to do in the city. Uh -huh. Vladivostok from the heights. There is so little. After the ferry's wheel, we went to a place that is always a win-win, the embankment. Blogger routine. <laughs> At least something for this vlog. So, oh, where is the camera? Here. Oh, guys, look at this uh, van. Ah, uh, fan. Fan. <laughs> what do you call this thing? Fan. Fan. Okay. Her English is better than mine. No. We are where? Some fancy tropical Tumblr vibes place. Yeah. We needed to film some content because we were making like B-rolls only because it's very hot and we are not in the mood of filming, but we had to film at least something. So now we will show our cocktails too. So what did you get? I get my Hito. Wow. And you? I got orange, fresh. When I got this mojita, there was a very strange ice. I never tried it. It was like dry ice. Ice in Vladivostok is strange. I don't know what, what, what is happening. We decided to discuss just our plans, what we already visited and what we are going to do. So, Alina, you came to Vladivostok a little bit earlier than me. Can you share your experience and what you did here, how you liked it? So, I walked around the city, you know, explored a little bit, went to the embankments, Central Square, Central Street, all of that stuff. Typical things that you go do on the first day of visiting the city. Is it your first time here? No, it's not. Well, the last time I came in March, so it was sad, depressed and cold, as usual Just in Russia. Just as your video. Just as my videos, exactly. And mine. And now we are here in July, so... It's so hot It's here. really hot, we're drinking orange juice, we're looking at the gulls. The gulls are cool though. Yeah guys, look at these birds. They are not visible here, but believe me, they are there. Yeah, and on the second day, 2nd of June and 3rd of June, is the day of the city in Vladivostok. I had no idea, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, so day of the city is like, it's kind of like a city's birthday and plot twist, we didn't expect. 162 years of yeah. the city of Vladivostok. It was so crowded, it was Saturday. On the embankment, on the central square, it was so many people, you know, people were performing also, singers, dancers, all of that stuff. What we already visited here? Just we bankers? literally just go to the cafes, coffee yeah. shops, we I went mean, to the seafood place yesterday. The same thing that we do in Khabarovsk, and here we're doing the same, so kind of doesn't matter. So one thing that we wanted to visit is North Korean restaurant. Yeah, it's literally, literally cuisine uh, from like North Korea. We will go there just to try unusual food. Another plan is to go to the Vladivostok Seaquarium. We're gonna see the penguins, we're gonna see the fish. 
I'm a Pisces, so I'm a sensitive <laughs> fish. You will see your brothers. Yeah. But instead of hanging out outside, just like this man, we decided to explore local cafes that are so various in Vladivostok. There are many East Asian restaurants here, even more than in Khabarovsk. We went to the restaurant of North Korean cuisine. It was a bit scary, but interesting. Weird experience. We are leaving. <laughs> And we're not in jail! So, I made a whole other video about this restaurant and it will be posted on my channel soon. I've never been to Japan or other East Asia countries, but it seems that the Vladivostok atmosphere is really similar to them. Maybe it's the climate, chaotic traffic, used Japanese cars or Chinese characters in the streets. There's something about it. The next day we found another interesting place. We came to one interesting place, a restaurant of Peruvian cuisine and I really like its interior and uh, look what we took. We got tacos with chicken and a salad on the side. I got bumble coffee which is like orange juice with coffee and there's a latte I see in the Mexican cup. So the food was good, a bit spicy. The interior is something very promising. I found this place on TripAdvisor, that's why here many tourists usually and you can see the whole wall with signatures from people from different places. It's cool that even though Blade Rostock is in Russia, here you can see many different varieties because yeah, it is a tourist city and for a second I was like, is it interesting for the viewers because I'm making a video about Vladivostok, but this is Peru, but then I'm like, why not to show how international Vladivostok is, that here in the far east of Russia you can find Peruvian cuisine. I think it is amazing. And after that, we continued exploring the city center. So we came to some local events that looks like Sims 4 game. Spask is famous for its berries and fruits. And it is in Vladivostok, so when you see Spask next to the vegetables and fruit, it means that they're good. This is a truly Vladivostok thing. You see how close this car is parked to this thing it's like one centimeter here so Vladivostok drivers are believed to be like the craziest drivers and I think that this is just the example of their proficiency I don't know but yeah oh, oh my god this is really cool another interesting fact is that traffic lights in Vladivostok are located in the form of LED strips above the road so that they can be seen through the fog Exploring the city, I always pay attention to the local street art. Among stickers and ornate inscriptions, something was especially noticeable to me. These are anti-war slogans. Нет войне or no war are the most common inscriptions this month. And when we went to a souvenir shop, I noticed another detail that reflects the current state of affairs in Russia. A historic moment. On one hand, it is just a pin, you know, a nice thing, and on the other side there is information where you can find this thing, but something is uh, covered. It is Instagram. So the thing that in Russia now you can't write like the word Instagram on the things that you sell because Instagram is considered an extremist organization, so it is literally a criminal case against you if you write Instagram so weird by the way follow me on 
to see my daily updates, findings and thoughts. And now let's go to the Ruski island to visit Oceanarium. Just a fox. Actually, yeah, it's just actually the first time when I see a fox in real life. I'm like really surprised that we saw a fox just like in the middle of the street. By exploring the sea, you are exploring yourself. You paparazzi. Let's go. <gasps> wow, what is this? It's you and me. <laughs> so, dinosaur? What is this? Okay. Shuka. <gasps> it is moving. Oh my god. It's me at 7 a.m. For Piscis. Spices. Spices in their natural habitat. School of Fish by Carl Seal. Wow, they're so cute. I've never seen this before. They look like a mixture of fish and uh, what? Fatness. <laughs> yes. Just yeah. a huge fan of dolls and these seals. Like, look at that. They're so freaking cute. Hmm. Oh my god. Where are penguins? Oh, it is here. So cute. Wow. Hello, penguin. Stellar sea lions so and northern fur seals. The Hall of Octopuses. Карибского моря напоминает. I am not a fan of museums, but I really enjoy this chill hall because the lights, this ambient music. Even though I said I don't like museums, I think you should sometimes to go to such places to just change the the atmosphere, you know. Also, in the Oceanarium, there was a tropical forest with unique plants and fish. And finally, it's time to return to Khabarovsk. We returned to Khabarovsk after spending several days in Vladivostok. And I must say that in comparison to Vladivostok, Khabarovsk seemed so quiet and even undeveloped. 
Did you feel the same? I feel like we're returning to Gopnik town. Yeah, I mean, Khabarovsk is a beautiful city as well. But first thing that I noticed is this uh, Soviet uh, square-shaped buildings. I'm not even talking about these Khrushchevkas, but just like administrative buildings. Okay, final thoughts? Final thoughts. Khabarovsk is very gray, very quiet, very Soviet. And Vladivostok is uh, more interesting. Vibrant? Yes, but at the same time, maybe I'm biased because I come to Vladivostok only in the summer when it's beautiful and nice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Tap likes, write your comments. Did you like this vlog? Did you like Vladivostok? Subscribe to Alina's channel, Press Russian, and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye. Пока-пока.